Hi friends, welcome to jQuery example code dot blogspot dot com and ASP.NET tutorial online dot blogspot dot com. I am your Ranga Rajesh Kumar. This is my YouTube channel. You will find more uh, uh, jQuery tutorial from here. From this uh, tutorial, we are going to learn how to do multiple uh, selectors in jQuery. Uh, actually, uh, as we have seen in the previous videos, whenever we are going to click on some event. Uh, 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 some pop-up is getting loaded uh, just I'm going to write one paragraph here okay just para okay just I'm going to close this uh, this is um, para graph okay just I'm going to close this event uh, this tag and then uh, I have one more div tag over here just whenever uh, I'm going to write one more uh, ID for this div tag. This is uh, uh, division. Okay. Next, I'm going to write style sheet. Uh, whenever I'm going to click on a uh, uh, paragraph, I have to get one pop up. Whenever I'm going to click on div, I have to get a pop up. I want same pop up for both actions. Uh, now I'm going to write uh, whenever you are going to click on p element uh, id paragraph for this uh, you have to write the jquery uh, event uh, this one hash hash para okay dot click off you are going to write function of function and then you have to close this tag after that you are going to write alert of multiple selectors example okay now i'm going to write same code for uh, uh, getting the same result whenever i'm going to click on the division for this i have to write i have to take the division part and i have to write this division let's see what is the output now uh, just i'm launching in chrome okay uh, I have seen uh, two things over here. One is this is paragraph and uh, whenever I'm going to click this multiple selector example we are getting and I'm going to click this you are getting multiple selectors example. So uh, in order to uh, avoid duplicate uh, operations whenever you are going to click on some uh, uh, tag and another tag you need to do some same operations. Uh, we need to avoid this situation whenever uh, uh, we need to do code redundant. It will be code redundant only. Just uh, this is the comment uh, how you are going to use the jQuery uh, like uh, JavaScript only. What I am doing is instead of this paragraph, I am going to write same here uh, division. I am going to add uh, division for this paragraph as well. And uh, I am going to save this one. And whenever I am going to run this application, uh, you can able to see same actions you can see whenever I'm going to click here multiple selectors example uh, Whenever I'm going to click on division also you are getting multiple selectors example uh, uh, You can able to use uh, like this as well uh, Just you can instead of paragraph uh, you can use P and then uh, you can use uh, instead of division you can use div so in this operation whenever how many paragraphs are there in this uh, system uh, uh, div some this is second paragraph okay just i'm closing this tag okay and close this and i'm saving this and i'm going to run this uh, what is my output will be output will be whenever you are going to click on this same output you will get and you are going to click on this you will get the same output all uh, p elements will be added over here and then all developments will be added over here uh, like this you can able to eliminate so much of redundant code in the system in the uh, in the jquery file uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i will catch you in the next video before that please subscribe this channel and uh, uh, like this video and give your valuable comments on this uh, uh, video uh, uh, thanks friend have great days